Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday we're back out in the garden getting things ready for winter. See you in a minute. Now there's a number of things that need sorting out in the garden, um, mainly to do with tidying up ready to get it sort of wrapped up for the winter. We usually like to try and clean everything down before the winter sets in rather than have to go and start cleaning pots and things in January and February. Um, we start off with my favourite which is water. I've got a problem with a leaking hose reel so we'll try and sort that out first and then we can move on. I need to get the side of the garage tidied up and down the passageway at the side so we can get through from front to back. I'm forever having to move stuff for the window cleaner to get through and feel guilty every time he comes because I say I'm going to be sorting that out soon and I still haven't so we'll try and get that sorted and I think then my wife wants a bit of insulation put in the greenhouse so we'll go out and make a start on that. Right first up I'm just going to unbox this little Katsu router that I would got for the winner of the thousand subscriber giveaway. I didn't order it until I knew who'd won because I didn't know whether I wanted 110 volt or not um, but as it happens it's going to error uh, so it's 240 volt but knowing what I do about the one I had I'm just going to run it up just to make sure it actually works because I don't want to have to give something to somebody that they've then got to send back to me because it's got to be returned and also I don't want it to go back like three weeks later than it's arrived so we'll just undo that and have a look seems to be okay these are quite often a bit loose and you have to tighten that nut off to get them to actually clamp tight but that one seems okay although it's a bit hit and miss but yeah that's it's lock solid anyway that's an important thing and then the other thing to check is whether it actually runs or not because the speed control was defective on the one I first had. I think the quality control is probably a little bit lacking here and there, but you can't have everything. to pack up and send it on its way. So we got that tidied up it was time to move outside and start and get rid of some of the stuff that's up the side of the house. As you can see it's a nightmare for the window cleaner to get down. I have to bring a lawnmower through and can't do that. And there's stuff there that has been bought for or been lying there for ages that will come in use for one day but we all know that one day will never happen. Um, I'm not sure about the timber chunks down the far end but I'm not worrying about those at the moment. There's bits of rail from 
on all the outdoor railway layout. Uh, there's the trestles which I want to keep, but they can at least be kept underneath the ladders. I, I should be keeping the ladders there, but it's the floor area that's so bad. The, the old wheels off the front of the trike which is something that I don't think I'm ever likely to use again but it's you just have that problem or I have that problem that it might come in useful one day and it's just breaking that circuit there's a lot of firewood that I was going to use for the log burner pallet wood again it's not something I can see we're going to use and if we do want it this year in the in the winter I'll just go out and get some pallets it's not really ideal to use pallet wood in the log burner anyway because uh, they tend to have all sorts of nasty chemicals in them it was just one of those things of breaking stuff up and putting it away out there there's a lot of stuff left over from the old original shed build bits of CLS timber and things like that which again they've not been used for two years so the chances are they're not going to be used in the next two years so it was time to bite the bullet as I have with the garage and just get everything out and taken away Some of the things I've found another home for, the axle stands or the ramps for the car I've managed to do. But it's amazing the difference just clearing out that patch brings about. Some of the bags are still mortar and cement which I'll be using up the top of the garden either later this year or early next so they'll stay but they're not in the way because they're not sticking out much further than the original than the ladders are on the wall but it just means the whole area is a lot more habitable and it functions properly while I was about it I thought I'd just get some uh, WD-40 and put on all the locks, hinges bolts again a bit of routine maintenance that you tend to forget about and having got that done it's time to get on and sort out the um, hose reel water leak that I'd got it's a hose lock reel that um, is just dripping you can see all the while again it's not a massive problem but it's just a nuisance I'd sorted the water butt tap out a couple of weeks ago this was the next thing on the list it just makes a mess everywhere of water and black residue left over from it so having had a look at the website and instructions there on I could see there's actually a, a right angle piece in there that needed replacing which I'd already sent off for the part for it and uh, it just needed taking out cleaning up putting the new bit in and reassembling I'm tempted to go for one of these wall mounted ones actually but um, perhaps that'll be for next year there's a small spring in there just to stop the pipe bending on itself and then you've got to tighten up the uh, the fixings and as usual I've used a little bit of my LSX silicon just to make 100% sure with anything to do with me and water it's uh, almost an essential part of working pop the side cover on 
clean up, tidy up, turn the water back on and see if it leaks, which it doesn't. Brilliant. Then we're on to the shed really, uh, the greenhouse I mean this is next to the shed. My wife uh, wanted a little bit of insulation in there to keep bulbs and things in there over winter them. We'd had a problem before with our friend Mr Mouse who'd been not only in the house but he'd been in the greenhouse so any of the openings that they were possibly getting in through I'd filled up with foam to stop them getting in and out so that was the, the first job to get that trimmed to size I've got some battens that were left over scrap wood from I forget what it was I'd got now but something that was got some little wooden battens on and lo and behold out comes the uh, insulation some of the insulation that was came out of the suspended ceiling at Men in Sheds when we were doing the mezzanine build, the um, stuff that wasn't too dusty I thought would do. This is only a temporary measure just to keep the place a little bit insulated. So I've just put battens top and bottom to uh, hold the insulation up just while we uh, overwinter it. The windows I've put polycarbonate sheeting in that was the leftover stuff I had from the that was supplied with the conservatory kit but I put glass in instead so I've been using that just to cut it down and put in the windows and then I just as I say putting the battens in to just hold the insulation roughly in place and we may or may not take that out next year in the summer we'll see but it just tidies up and gets a little bit of insulation in the walls at the bottom level and I've just covered those over then because this stuff is inclined to pick up on everything uh, and I've put some plastic sort of sheeting that we've got left over packaging which again is like a foam it's got a little bit of insulation value in it as well I've just tacked that up afterwards with um, staple gun just to make it a little bit more tidy and again hopefully the domestic authorities will be happy enough with that job and um, we may have earned a brownie point or two well that's got things tidied up and uh, at least I've got the side access back now that it's been a bit of a problem for the last year or so hope you enjoyed the video look forward to seeing you next saturday we'll hopefully have something different and i'll see you then bye